Patriots. From KALB, this is a First Alert Storm Center update. Meteorologist Kaylee Whitaker here. We're seeing a pretty comfortable uh, Monday evening. That humidity is still pretty high due to the uh, really strong southerly flow. We're going to see that basically into tonight and tomorrow morning, but then we're going to get a strong wind shift uh, later on tomorrow morning, bringing those winds out of the north. So it'll be much drier tomorrow, but still pretty high humidity today. Uh, from this southerly flow, just bringing us some warm, moist air. But throughout the next few days, that'll change just slightly. But as you can see right now, we are in this ridge right here, which is also contributing to that warmer and moist air. But that's just going to be slightly changing throughout the next few days. And we're going to have some pretty cool temperatures tomorrow afternoon. And as you can see right now, we have some pretty clear skies. Those clouds are going to be increasing as the night goes on to some fairly overcast conditions into tomorrow morning. Uh, and into Thursday, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, it's going to be pretty cloudy throughout the days and throughout the next few uh, days this week with some increasing of precipitation chances as well. But our winds right now are pretty strong. We're going to be uh, seeing some gusts uh, near 35 miles per hour tonight. It's going to be pretty windy. Uh, we're not going to be seeing a, a break from these breezy winds really until Thursday or Friday. We're going to have gusts up into the 20 to 30. 30 mile per hour range throughout this week and we can see our gusts today were pretty strong all across the U.S. Even uh, over in New Mexico, they're seeing gusts around 54 miles per hour. So very windy there, but even here we're seeing some really strong winds into the 25 to 30 mile per hour range. So very windy day. Uh, the current conditions right now aren't too bad. The temperature is fairly comfortable, but that humidity is making it feel uh, more uncomfortable temperatures mostly in the up, uh, mid to upper 70s with some scattered uh, cloud coverage and the rain chances this week is going to be good today and tomorrow but then once we get into tomorrow night and Wednesday we might see a few spotty showers uh, possible but then this the end of this week into this weekend is when we're going to see a lot more chances for rain and thunderstorms the temperatures as well but much higher than that average but as you can see that's going to drop into the uh, upper 50s for that high on Thursday due to that cold front we're getting on Wednesday. But then as you can see that they're just going to go right back up after that. But the dew points are looking good um, for the middle of this week. But due to that strong southerly flow that we're going to continue getting through tomorrow, uh, it's going to stay pretty humid, but we'll get a slight break from that humidity later on. Uh, looking at the rest of our week, it was uh, warm today and tomorrow getting up into the lower 80s tomorrow. But then that cold front is going to start to hit Wednesday into Thursday, dropping those highs closer to our average or even below our average on Thursday. Uh, so we're definitely getting more into winter, but then we're going to go right back up to more spring-like conditions later on with a lot of chances for storms, especially on Friday. That's where we're going to see some storms uh, into pretty much the whole entire day. That's going to start Thursday evening and just kind of continuing up into the weekend. Yeah, I noticed those winds just walking out to my car. It was pretty windy today. Yes, really strong winds all throughout the day. We're not yeah. really going to get a break until Friday, maybe. And in New Mexico, 50 miles per hour. Yeah, super strong. Gosh, it sounds like a record-breaking wind. Almost, yeah. Sure. Well, thank you for that, Kate. Yeah, thank you.